Hello and welcome to another update video. Um, in this case about Travala, I talked about Travala or Ava on this channel before. Um, I emphasized the potential. I talked about it, I think when it was around $2, um, somewhere down here or around two fifty, and talked about the potential. And this is one of my hidden gems, I would say, um, of my um, cryptos, a little bit of a niche product, niche crypto. And um, if you don't know what it is, it's um, AVA tokens or AVA coins can be used to purchase, um, yeah, hotel. You want to poach, purchase hotels, but to purchase holidays on the Travala website. They, I think they partnered with Expedia as well. They partnered with Binance. It's very interesting. And check out my Travala videos that I did on this channel. You'll probably find them if you search for Travala on my website, uh, on my website, on my YouTube channel. And it's currently breaking out which is why I want to talk about it. Um, I wanted to do the video yesterday, but I did so many, I just couldn't. Um, also, my voice isn't quite back yet. You know, still feeling a bit um, rough. And I did share it with the guys in the private Telegram, private chat group, um, the channel members yesterday before it happened. <laughs> I actually told the channel members, you read it here first. And um, yeah, well, when I shared that information yesterday, we were at around three dollars today we jumped all the way up to 330 and we're currently breaking out of this um, structure here so let's take a look at that so this is not about fundamentals of um, Travala I believe Travala has a bright future especially when travel restrictions are more and more lifted when we're finally getting through the current situation that's going on in the world and as more and more people are going to use cryptocurrencies and potentially even for buying um holidays right and the, the the nice thing is if you buy and that's not a recommendation you know it's just what i am doing and a potential thought scenario here if you buy ava tokens right and they appreciate in value and they appreciate more than for example the dollar value of your holidays then you get really really nice discounts on your holidays and i think yeah i'm very confident that Travala or ada ava tokens are going up in value compared to the dollar value right now anyway um I've, I've i did get hold of some when i made my first videos on travala and i just want to make you aware of what's currently happening so as with so many other cryptos we've got an ascending trend line here we've got a descending trend line here uh, we had a high back in may or april when we went all the way up to seven dollars only very briefly um, now we came down to a low of around 150, 160. Since then we've gone up, we pumped um, all the way up to 550 again in September. Since then we've dropped again in a consolidation. Also after the flash crash that Bitcoin did. Since then we've recovered a little bit. Um, not much though, still quite um, close to the low. I believe we might have seen something like a low here now and we're on our way up. And we are just, again, like so many other cryptos, getting into this apex. And it feels like we're breaking out today. We already broke out and we're currently holding above that level. And to do to take a look at that, we're going to go into the hourly chart. But before we do that, let's take a look at the RSI, which is currently going up into the bullish range. That is all looking good, right? There's a lot of scope to the upside before we reach the overbought territory. And last time we actually went all the way up to the 80 level on the RSI. We're currently at around 55, I would say, 52. There is a lot of scope to the upside in terms of momentum to be uh, gained. Yeah, and we have received a bullish cross on the um, directional movement lines here. The green lines on the ADX indicator is now showing a long signal. And that long signal already happened end of September where we saw a pump after that, but I believe it's not over yet. We're going to see further moves as the ADX line, the trend line is going to move up as well above 20, not yet there. And we've seen a bullish cross on the MACD as well. I think on the same day, um, no, it was a bit later on the 3rd of October, another buy signal here. Haven't crossed the zero line yet, but that will happen in my view in the next few days. So in terms of the indicators, it's looking quite good in my view on the daily. Um, also in terms of that um, uptrend here, I think it's looking quite good. We are in an overall uptrend. You can see also looking at the price action that we had a, quite a long um, move to the upside, a bit of a retracement here. And we can put on the chart, if you're not sure, retracement level is just to see 
where we actually managed to get down to in that retracement. There you go. We came down <clears throat> in that um, consolidation. We came down actually below the 0.618, below 304, below 3.04. Um, we came down, yeah, below that, between be, below the 6, 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level, which is the golden pocket. Um, didn't quite get to the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement level. Um, there might be one in between here, which I haven't got on the chart here. But um, there you go. We've now we now at the um, currently actually climbing. Oh no! Just need to go back. We're currently climbing above the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level, which is at 305. We're currently at 315. Yesterday, when I posted it in the private Telegram group for the paid ch channel members, um, I made them aware that the breakout is likely to happen. That I would believe it's going up. You know, this is never guaranteed. But when I see something. I can't always make a video, so I then put it on the in the chat, and um, that's one of the benefits that paid channel members get. And again, it's it's then not always guaranteed to break out or break out to the upside, but I can tell you much quicker what I can see. I can't do that here all the time on videos. I publish a lot of videos. You guys know that I'm very active on YouTube anyway, but I can't just do it all the time. Chat is sometimes much easier and quicker. But we are currently moving up, and let's take a look at the hourly chart or oh, before we do that where could we actually be heading so just assume that we get above that high here in september again um let's just assume we get above the 3535 uh, now the next important level to watch out for is that 642 and after that the 1.618 fibonacci extension level is 774 and then we've got nine dollars and 18 or nine dollars and 19 um, now these are only the extension levels of course we need to take a look at the bigger picture because if we break out of that previous high here um, then I think we have some resistance here certainly at six dollars which is sort of this range here yeah six dollars <throat> and also certainly here at um, the high of seven dollars anyway um, but yeah we're currently breaking out and we're going to take a look at that on the hourly chart and before it happened actually yesterday, when I put that comment in the chat group, I bought some AVA coins, I'm quite happy with that, uh, happy with that now. You can see that we are, um, <clears throat> that we actually, I think after I made that comment, we actually broke down once more, came down once more, um, came actually briefly, broke out of that de um, ascending trend line, um, but came back in and then made one attempt, failed, but then made another attempt and we're currently breaking out. Um, looks a bit like probably on the shorter term time frame that we actually retested that level as well and we can take a brief look at that but what you need to be aware of this is a bit of um sometimes it feels like a bit of a pump and dump coin i think someone's making money with it um certainly um, by pumping and dumping it a little bit on the very short term time frames and um you know just look at these wicks yeah look at these wicks here there you go and this is quite striking you can't see that with many other cryptos i mean look at this one here huge volatility in one day um there you go it looks like someone's pumping that sometimes and then it's just you know just a bit of manipulation happening here but overall i think it has a lot of potential and it's also following the structure that many other cryptos are following that are currently um yeah breaking out you know but you can see these wicks here so just be careful with these but sometimes they happen within a minute so let's just zoom in like that and if i go to the one minute chart you see that that candle even on the one minute chart didn't even close here it came in within one minute that came up and came down again so even if i i don't you know i don't even have the um the uh, the highest premium plan that i could see i think below one minute chart so there you go that's what happens in the markets anyway it has a lot of potential in my view in the long run especially when travel restrictions will be lifted which hopefully will happen soon especially you know it's sort of a long-term game for me with Travada um, because the travel industry will pick up and pick up more more and more people will get used to cryptos and more and more people will then eventually also buy and pay for their um, travels potentially with cryptos and Travala is one website where you can actually pay with I think I don't know if it's all cryptos which you can buy on Binance, but a lot of them, right? And that is very interesting. 
um, they had a great bonus program where you could actually sort of stake your AVA coins on the Travala website and then you received um, free AVA tokens or coins. But um, yeah, they when I started that, they only had it running for a month or so and then they stopped it, unfortunately, purely to tackle the inflation um, of the coins, you know, the quantity of coins coming out. But anyway, you know, I think it's looking good. Um, I, I think as long as we hold above that $3.10 level, I think we could um, we could continue our way to the upside. Of course, you know, when you break out of something like that, you typically come back, you retest it, and then hopefully we'll see that further continuation to the upside. Um, first main resistance level, I would say, you know, we certainly have, um, you know, this high here at 326, 325. And then after that, we've got an important level here at 3, um, there you go, 384, 385. Um, but yeah, it's breaking out at the moment. Um, really nice, good, um, good potential in my view. No financial advice here. It could always pump, go back in. Could also drop below that trend line, even though I don't see that happening in the current market, at least not in the very short term, as um, so many other cryptos are breaking out at the moment as well, out, out of exactly that structure. So hopefully you liked that video. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this crypto journey, please subscribe. If you want to join as channel member, you can find the join button next to the subscribe button. And you can also check out my second channel, link in the description on which I teach technical analysis. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.